My emotional intelligence journey hasn't been without its challenges. Growing up, in my family, emotional expression was the enemy. I was taught that kids should be seen and not heard. So I quickly learned to stuff my emotions down with food. And throughout my life, I used food to cope with what I was feeling, to the point that I had gained over 100 pounds. And normally when I had gained weight, I would isolate myself and be housebound, basically go to work to pay my bills and my mortgage, but then come home and not let anyone in the world see me. And at one point, it was during Christmas time, and I was really feeling isolated and I didn't want to sort of go on. I don't know what came over me, but I thought to take an emotional intelligence assessment because I had learned about it while doing my master's degree. And when I took that assessment, the results rocked me to the core. I realized at that point where I was really struggling in my life. And that assessment changed my life because it showed me the roadmap of what I needed to do to get stronger. And so since then, I've spent the last 20 years amalgamating all the research that I've done in education, business, and psychology. And I took all the lessons learned in emotional intelligence and put it in this book. But what I'd love to know from you is, what's been your personal challenges? And how do you think emotional intelligence, connecting with yourself on an emotional level, can help you become the best version of yourself? Because I know emotional intelligence is my answer to all my personal, interpersonal, and professional problems. And I know it can do the same for you.